Hey guys, welcome back to the final part of the speed build and we are finishing off the rest of this build. In the last one I was like ranting about occults and I might just continue my occult rant because I'm recording straight after the last one. But I just wanted to quickly talk about this living area and kitchen area which I absolutely love doing. And I love the fact that I put in like these half walls so they're connected and you can kind of see into them a bit. Also I get to do the library in this one and I loved making the library in this build. I loved it so much. Also, I had to put in like a few little activities for like spellcasters to do because like for now because all they do is read and cast spells and I feel like if you're gonna be in like a kind of college like this there's gotta be other places to outlet your creativity especially if you get really overcharged with magic and like you know like I got the organ if they wanted to practice the organ like a jukebox to listen to a, like an easel to paint with a little uh crafting table in case they needed to you know just use their hands anyway and they wanted to make something and uh, working on the kitchen here and in the last episode like my occultish rant talked into about how I wanted the the simple like occults like mermaids and vampires not vampires mermaids aliens and ghosts to be over like uh to be like overhaul but also allow us to make ghosts in cast which I thought would be really cool but also the the, the things that you could do with werewolves and I, I'm gonna be honest I kind of want werewolves now because I've never seen werewolves in the game. Again, I never played Sims 3, like, so I, I've no idea what the supernaturals were like in that game. But, like, I was aware of what vampires were in Sims 2, which were very, very, very basic. And the, I only ever got one vampire in the end because I can't remember why she ended up becoming a vampire. I think I romanced the dude. I think I romanced the vampire dude. I think that was how it went. But I would love to see werewolves in this game. Also, I do like these counters. I know they're reskins of, like, the vampire counters, almost. But I do like those counters, they do look pretty, pretty nice. But I'd love to see werewolves. I'd love to see werewolves as like their own thing with the abilities to like, you know, transform like a will out of their control as like a weakness. Maybe um, like another weakness could be that they're basically, I'm not sure what other weaknesses you could do. I know maybe if you got cats and dogs in, you could do a thing where they can actually talk with dogs and they kind of, un and like dogs will like either, f like cats could freak out near werewolves. Like they could see where, like they could, if they know someone's a werewolf, they could like hiss at them, and the cat could get like really uncomfortable. But if the dog like, but if the dog knows you're a werewolf or like can sense you're a werewolf, like they get really happy because it's like another good boy to like be friends with, kind of thing. That'd be kind of an interesting kind of like weakness to have, where dogs and cats just will react to you. That'd be kind of a cool to have if, like. That's more if you needed to integrate with the cats and dogs pack. So it'd be like a little optional thing they add in. So if you don't have cats and dogs, like you, that wouldn't be something that you'd experience in the game. But it'd be kind of a fun thing. Also, I do love this little kitchen. I did put that little cauldron in. It'd be kind of like Morgan put that in there as a joke. And someone like Elphaba just... Or Elphaba put it in there as a joke. One of the sages put it in there as a joke and it kind of stuck. And people are just like, yeah, this is real funny. There, yeah, this is real funny. But the kitchen looks quite nice. There was a lot of space for it. There was a lot of space. And I thought about maybe cobblestone like on the floor, but then I think I went with... What did I go with in the end? I think it was... Yeah, that was the... This was a nice little basic kind of tile, linoleum tile like part. And then I came into this part, and this has a little rec room area, but it's also where the downstairs bathrooms are, because I realised I didn't have downstairs bathrooms, and I don't want all my sims to wet themselves before they can trek up three sets of stairs to get to the uh, to get to the bathrooms up on the dorm so downstairs bathrooms had to make them otherwise it, we were going to be dealing with uh, dealing with a lot of accidents and nobody wants a lot of accidents I did just only make sure there was four and then that middle one I removed uh, the wall there and then I just put a plant in just so no one can actually walk down there and get stuck down there but it came along quite nicely I liked it in the end I liked it in the end but then I can't wait to get to the library portion of this video. Library portion of this video. I know other occults people want, and I'm going to go back to the occults thing quickly while this builds, because while I like talking about the builds, you know, I like talking about other aspects of the Sims with you guys. And one thing I would love as well, like, I know people, people want fairies. That's one thing that people want to see. And that I totally get. Fairies are awesome, but fairies are also cheeky little things. So you could totally have like a little deviant aspiration with a fair with fairies, where they have to be like where you can be um ah, uh, I'm trying to think where you could do like mischievous things as a fairy, and like you like your aspiration would be to be like you know king of the fairies, queen of the fairies kind of thing, or like to become the most mischievous little fae 
creature there is. Also, apparently, the the, the Sylvan Glade tree is in by built by Debug. I just need to find it. Apparently, I was not looking hard enough, so I'm gonna need to thoroughly comb through that because it's really hard to find some of the things, especially when you've got all the CC I do as well, all the custom content items. It's kind of hard to find half the stuff in build by minute, especially because there's apparently like thousands of build by live edit objects, but I just can't find them. I just can't find them, so I do need to try and have another look for that Sylvan Glade tree. Then I don't have to have Melanie and uh, what the hell did I call him? Iron. Iron trekking out to the uh, trekking out to Willow Creek every time I want to send them to the uh, send them to the Sylvan Glade. Iron, who I think is actually a very very gorgeous sim. I mean, I was just like, okay, so Erin and Melanie may not be compatible. What do I do? And the answer was introduce another druid, but make him like the the sexiest man alive kind of thing. And he is a mm, a little tasty dish, if I say so myself, because I spent I spent a lot of time working on him because I knew exactly what I wanted to make. I was kind of going for a dryad sort of uh, idea, and if uh, I well, dry, dryads are kind of like tree nymphs, so I was kind of going for a nymph like tree nymph like kind of like sim. Was the idea someone who had like kind of you know very handsome but also very deep connected to the earth kind of thing that was kind of the idea I was going for and then I put down what what did I put down the uh, carpet what carpet did I use for the library I think it was that one or it might have been a different one either way the this one was my favorite part of the build I think making the uh, making the uh, oh yeah I did use that vampire carpet but the red actually looked a lot better than the bright red and gold but making the library was the best part of this because I just used the same bookcase everywhere because they all connected together I could make all these little shelves and rows of like of like bookcases and all these little things and it was just it was so much fun making this library it was so much fun making this library because like libraries well I mean I kind of based it around like big old libraries that you see in big old houses because this was like a very stately home inspired kind of place and my boyfriend's just come back from class hello and uh yeah the library was the most fun part of this because i got to just put a thousand more bookcases into this into this place there's bookcases everywhere in this build because it's not a magic school if there aren't a thousand bookcases everywhere in every room hidden in secret doorways and stuff it was just like a it was such a fun thing do i also did put a couple desks in i think i put a few chairs in as well and I think I added in... Did I add in anything else? I can't remember if there was any like little decor bits I added in. But it was a really fun little little build to do. Also, I think the library is my favourite part. And I think I might save this as an individual room and upload that to the gallery as well. Because it's just it's such a nice looking like little library. It's so cool. It's so cool. I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it a lot. And then I did put in like four desks. Yeah, four desks because there was just like not enough room to put like a load of desks in. But they look pretty cool. I do like the new desks from uh, the new pack. New pack. And I put these little chairs in. I thought the chairs would be nice. Little like little just... You can sit down and read if you need to. I wanted to put beanbag chairs in but we don't really have beanbag chairs, do we? Makes me miss the beanbag chairs from uh, Sims 2 University. I, this is why I want university now because... I think if the leaks are true and we do get it, then it's going to be... People are either going to be extremely disappointed or it's going to be one of the best packs they'll have made yet. But we won't know until uh, November time when hopefully the next pack should be released. And then the final bit we come to is the basement, which, yeah, it looks pretty big now, but I do shrink it down. I have like a cool little storage area where I put a bunch of vampire stuff in, a couple coffins, an old chair, the portrait of Vlad. Well... It's not Vlad in the portrait, but I think it's one of the other vampire pre-maids that we got to see in the trailer for vampires. But I had a lot of fun making this little build. Yeah, the potions lab, like in the original build, it's fine. But because they just scatter the cauldrons everywhere, it doesn't feel cohesive. And the the like the the okay, so the the potions room we got in the trailer looked really cool. And I'm still wondering why we didn't get that in the actual gameplay. There's a lot. I know the trailers say gameplay is not ref like will not reflect or like image some images won't reflect actual gameplay stuff, which is probably why Simeon and Elphaba look the way they do now. Uh, but it was kind of the idea I was going 
before where I looked at the trailer, I watched the trailer and I think that's kind of what I want to do with the uh, potion room. It doesn't exactly turn out the same way, but I, I'd like basically all the cauldrons are down in the basement. You want to get your alchemy done, you have to go downstairs like a good little like a good little spellcaster. But also the vampire stuff, like the, the cobblestone and the walls just really made it, just really came together them pulled everything together I think, which is actually pretty decent. It's actually pretty decent. Pretty decent. I do love this uh, stone like sort of thing with all the symbols on the stone flooring with the symbols. I love that. I wish there were more and I wish we could just have those symbols as just other like individual bits of decor or tattoos. I think that'd be kind of fun. Also all the cobwebs. I literally just like saved the vampires thing and I was just like okay time to just go all ham out on the sofa. On like the sofas? No, on the vampire stuff. Like all the cobwebs. I put like the little wooden coffin down. I thought the wooden coffin would be kind of cool to have. Like why is there a coffin underneath the magic school? No, you don't need to know why. No one needs to know why. I put two down actually. And then I just sort of made this like sort of like walled off room little area. But there is like a archway so you can go into it. Because I think I put a chair in there as well. So no doubt if you like download this, Morgan or Alphaba or some spellcaster will grab like a book from the bookcase and then come down and just sit in this room with the coffins and just read. Which would be kind of funny. Kind of funny. Also, I do put another shelf of potions, but you know how basically you can't make consumables into static objects, so you know that's going to be fun because all the students are going to steal my potions again. But I had some little fun here. Put a couple urns down, the little skull in the thing, the uh, book on the pedestal. That's actually a really cool item. I'm surprised we didn't get a similar kind of item in Realm of Magic. I thought that'd be kind of cool to have. In there. I did put the big chair in. I don't know why I put the thought of the bastard. It would be a good idea. And then I put that picture down of the lady and the vampire bloke sitting there, like looking all like important and stuff. Cracks everywhere because the basement's old and kind of falling to pieces and dis disrepair. But you know, like no one comes down to this like sort of part of the of like the the dungeon. They mostly tend to just go to the. Uh, they mostly tend to just go and do the potion stuff. This room kind of just gets abandoned and falls into dis disarray. But it looks pretty decent because it also looks like a little storage closet. Why there's coffins down there, nobody knows. And then I accidentally deleted the room. I don't know how I did that, but I, had, I kind of panicked when I did. So then I had to go and just sort of... I do put a couple cauldrons over that way as well. It's a pretty decent little like basement. I enjoyed making it. I had to put that down. I wanted to put that down somewhere. Once again, the statue. I think I used yeah the little fairy one this time around and used these big crystal cauldrons and then all these little standard cauldrons as well. So there's a lot of little cauldrons around everywhere. So at least it's going to be if people have to do their potion making, it's all going to be done downstairs. But there'll be someone who goes into Simeon's office and tries to use that one. I just know it. But I had such fun building this. I think the basement... I think, okay, so out of this entire build, the potions dungeon, Morgan's office, and the library, my absolute favourite parts of the build, because I just got to kind of, I really like, it's more the fact that I knew what I wanted to do with these ones, so I knew exactly how they had to look, and I had a lot more fun with them. Not that I didn't have fun with the other builds, I had a lot of, I had a lot of fun with the other rooms as well, building those, but I just feel like these were the ones where I just sort of, everything clicked really easily for me when building them. And of course I had to put in more of these. I think I just changed the colour, switched it around so the symbols were facing the wall. Once again these vampire shelvings looked great and then I've just put all the potion bottles on. Of course I know when I put plop this down in a in a save, just all the potions are gonna get stolen. I just know. It. Because I actually looked in my let's play and yeah, someone even stole the potion of curse cleansing, which meant someone got cursed. And you know, they're for display only, but Apparently that doesn't apply to the Sims, so they just steal them anyway, which is super, super annoying. But I don't know what else you can do. I don't know what else you can do with that without making some sort of cheat to turn them into static loot objects, which would be fun if you could. And then I put that there, just the little romantic shelves, the book, so it looks like, you know, there's a big potion book there, so if you need to go and refer to anything, you go to the book. I put in the, uh, the little fishies there. Uh, I think it's the flying batfish and then, yeah, the flying batfish and whatever that fish was that I put on there. Because I really like those two, so I was like, i got to put them on. i got to put them on the wall because they're, they're vampire base. And also I want to see if I could actually put a fish in that fish bowl. But I can't, which is kind of unfortunate. But I absolutely lo loved, like, making this. I put in the little chest. 
just like some books everywhere. I think this turned out pretty well. I had, I had such fun building this. Also, gotta put the book tomes everywhere. I think I, yeah, I put one downstairs in the dungeon, then I put one in Morgan's office as well because you know he's gonna have books in there as well. But this place looked so great in the end. I was super happy with how well this turned out. And I think one of my favorite things about building this was yes, it took a long time, but I think it looks so much better than what the devs made us, at least in my personal opinion. Because I've, it feels like a proper magic school now. And I was going for a very sort of university-esque style inspiration, just mixed with magic. Not exactly Hogwarts, but, you know, Hogwarts is just a huge-ass castle in its own right up in Scotland. And, yeah, the, the, uh, the, the wishing well was a bit of a possibility, but I decided against it. But I loved how this turned out in the end. And it is going to be available in the gallery. I might have to take it down, just edit the one of the the top like room bits just do a couple little tweaks and then it'll be available on the gallery to download and there'll be links to the first part of the video in the game in the game no on the gallery so if you guys uh, are watching this from finding my build on the gallery hi there and also if you find uh, if you just want to find it on the gallery it's there. So now we're going through all the pictures. I had a lot of fun with this. I enjoyed making this build. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing me watch it. I know I did go into a rant about, uh, I did go into a bit of a rant about the occults, but you know, I love the occults in The Sims 4 and I want them to be better in every way. And I think they should be individual game packs, but it's all up here on the gallery. And if you loved it, leave a little like and a comment below, subscribe if you're new. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye now.